Finding optimum moisture content is a very important aspect in highway and geotechnical engineering. Knowing the OMC value would help you in achieving the desired relative comparison in the field. So here I am with this today video of how to draw field density and moisture content curve in Excel spreadsheet. My name is Sadiq Bal and I am from DefineSegal.com. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit subscribe button and the bell icon to get the latest updates on construction videos. Well, dry density is determined in the laboratory with the help of standard Proctor test. The test is standardized by ASTM D698 and ASHTO T99. You know that soil has three basic components, water, air, and soil solids. So the compaction reorganizes the soil matrix in a more compact arrangement by expelling air voids. So you might be wondering that why we should do the standard Proctor test actually. You know that you carry out the compaction at site by using rollers. And to evaluate their density, we perform the field density test. So, the standard proctor test is determined to establish an acceptance criteria so as to check the field density at site. So I have already written an article on this topic uh, here on DefineCivil.com. You can uh, find the article. I have uh, given the link in the description of this video. You can find that. So you can you go there. You find this article. It uh, it is a very elaborative and a thorough article, where it is step by step explanation on how we can perform this um, uh, standard Proctor test. And this test is basically used to determine the relationship between the dry density and moisture content, and that how the moisture content has an impact on the density of the soil. It is done in the laboratory. It is not la uh, that uh, like that of uh, field density test. Mm, uh, which I have uh, explained in some other video, but this test is done in the laboratory and the soil temperature sample is taken from the field. So back to this article, you, you can find out that uh, what is the basics of the soil compaction and uh, how, why we, 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 are to, we are in need to perform the standard Proctor test. This is very important that why we are in need. And uh, basically, the dense density of the soil, it depends on many factors, like it, dens it depends on the type of the soil, it depends on moisture content, it depends on the compaction effort. This is a very important uh, factor. Uh, then, there is, uh, we, have, we have explained about the apparatus, the various apparatus that, 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 are, that are required to perform the test, and then the procedure, step by step, how we have to perform, and then this calculation. So here is this the calculation. So I will not go uh, uh, e each step of this calculation in this video. What I will focus on is and how we can use Excel to draw this graph uh, on which we have moisture content on uh, x-axis and we have dry density on y-axis and how we can determine that what is the optimum moisture content of this particular soil here. So let's find out and yes in this article you can find this excel sheet you can download the excel sheet it is completely free here it is the link you can download this excel sheet there and uh, while you can download this sheet you will be only uh, putting the values there in this sheet and the, the graph will be automatically plotted so you don't have to worry at all but uh, for those who want to go to the background of how we have to plot the graph, this video is for you. Publishing optimum moisture content curve uh, through 
proper tests. And here I have some readings that I have taken in the laboratory. And I have placed those readings here, like the volume of the mound, it would be same. The weight of the hammer, same. The number of blows would be same. The number of layers would be same. So I have this weight of the mold plus base plate, then the weight of the soil sample plus mold as W2. Now the weight of the sample, the sample of the soil only, you can calculate this by subtracting these two values. So it will be equal to the weight of the soil sample plus mold minus the weight of the mold. So it is 2.099 here. Then the bulk density, you can find here the formula of the bulk density. It is the weight of the soil sample only, W3, this one, divided by the volume of the mold, which is here. So it is in kgs and it is in, this is in meter cube. So you can, without any concern, you can divide this, this weight divided by this density, divided by the volume, you get this density here. You can decrease, you can round it off to three figures. So now the next step is, this is the bulk density. So in order to find out the dry density, you need moisture content. And to plot the graph, you also need the moisture content. So I have taken the sample and I have uh, for the moisture content in the container and in the oven, I have dried it and, and the procedure, the standard procedure for measuring the moisture content. I will not go into detail of those, but weight of the tin is noted. Then weight of the tin plus the wet soil is noted, weight of the tin plus the dry soil is noted. Now, here it is, the weight of the water content. The weight of the water content would be the weight of the tin plus wet soil minus weight of the tin plus the dry soil. This is the weight of the water, con water content only. So the moisture content, you can find the formula here. It is the weight of the water content divided by the dry soil. But I have here the weight of tin plus dry soil, so I have to subtract it with the minus I have to subtract it with the, from the uh, uh, subtract the weight of the tin from here, so that I can get the value of uh, dry soil only, because for moisture content I have to use the weight of the dry soil. So moisture content would be equal to weight of the water content here, divided by parenthesis the weight of the tin plus dry soil, this one minus the weight of the tin which is here, parenthesis close, enter and you got this 10, 14 percent. Now, here's a very important thing that uh, I've already uh, used this uh, percentage symbol here, but actually it is in decimals. You can check this in the form itself. If you go to the form itself, you will find out, oh, it's a bit hacked, that in the, in the, it is a, here, it is a, in percentages. So anyhow, now what I can do is I can drag this formula for other cells as well so that for other trials I can get the same values of the dense, uh, bulk density as well as the moisture content. Now about the dry density. You see this formula, it is a very well-known formula of determining the uh, dry density from the wet or bulk density. So what you have to need do is you have to divide this bulk density parenthesis, one plus moisture content here, sorry, parenthesis close, and you get this value here. So you can drag this. So here you have this dry density, and here you have this moisture content here. So the, for, the graph that I need to plot is that I need to put moisture content on x-axis, Abscisa, and on the ordinate, I need the dry density. So I would select these two data ranges. This is our one series, this is our second series. I will insert a plot here. Let's go to the recommended chart. You should have to go to the XY scatter, and along with this, you need this scatter with smooth lines and markers. So you, you, you make it okay. So here it is and I can change its layout quickly from here so you can adjust as per your needs and in order to make this clear you can obviously add the major grid lines along with the minor grid lines as well so you can so it would be easy for you to determine that how much is the value of the optimum moisture content now here uh, you see the 0 5 this range is very long I need to split this out 
for that I'll go to format axis and I can make this uh, go around 0 0.05 I mean, let's think yes so this is okay so now you can see that the optimum moisture content it's about here so it's it's about that I, I can also show here the data labeled and you can add data call out so you see here it is the 12 percent so this is the maximum value of uh, the density that that, that 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 is going to be achieved you can find this here so this is the maximum value of the density and the moisture content is there 2007.34 kg per meter cube so either you can make this as proper relation of moisture content and density here this is dry density and it is in kg per meter cube and here you have the moisture content in percentage okay so this is the graph and that's it about our today's video i hope you like this video if you have any question or any feedback you can comment below and don't forget to support us because i'm committed to make many videos very informative and learn, learnful for you. Thank you so much. Bye.